Hello everybody, LogicBomb82 here from the Mature Minded Gamers Group. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your own dedicated server for Miscreated. This is to do uh, <clears throat> on a different machine. This is not to host and play on the same machine. Uh, that will not work. Uh, first thing you need to do is download Steam CMD. If you don't already have it, you can just Google it, all one word. It'll be the first one that pops up here. Click on that. And you want we're going to do Windows today, so click on Windows, and then the download Steam Z for Windows is the link right here. Click on that. It'll it'll say ask you what you want to do. Hit save, save it somewhere. Once it's done downloading, extract it somewhere wherever you want to store it. Um, it's going to be where the server files are and your Steam CMD files are. I always put mine somewhere where I have storage, like my C drive. And then I'll put a short link here on my desktop like this, and then you just need to put it in some folder somewhere like that, and then. Um, you should have a file called steamcmd.exe in there, and that should be the only file if it's the first time you've done it. If it's not, then you'll have other files. Double click on it to run it. It's going to download the files and fill up your folder a little bit. And eventually you'll get to a prompt like this, and you want to type in login space anonymous. Hit enter. It's going to log you in. And now we're just going to download the game. So to do that, the easiest way is to type app underscore update and then the number for the uh, miscreated server is right here so it's three zero two two zero zero hit enter and it's going to download all the files or update all the files this is also how you update the server so when they put out a new server patch you just go through these steps again and this will update wherever you already have it installed so it looks like there's been an update since I downloaded it so that's what it's doing right now is updating my files and to find these files now, you need to go back to the folder where wherever steamcmd.exe is, wherever you put it, and you're going to find a folder there now called Steam Apps. You want to go in there, and then you're going to have some other files. You want to go into Common, and then here should be all your server files. And if this is the only one you've done, you should just have the miscreated server. If you have other ones, they'll look like that. So we want to go into the miscreated server. And then here you're going to see a, a readme.txt file. Definitely check that text file out if you're having any kind of issues. Um, it's pretty well uh, covers everything. All the different things you can add, how to make your own uh, .bat file to start with. So very helpful document, so make sure you check that out. Once you're done downloading over here in Steam CMD and it's just had a prompt like this, it says Steam, you can just type in exit to exit out of that, you're done. And then go back to the readme.txt file. There's a file in here that says the part where it creates the bat. So you want to go down to start instructions, customize as you need. Um, you can do all this. What this, what all this does is it points to wherever your install is, logs you in, and will update for you before it launches. But that confuses people because everybody installs things differently. So what I'm going to have you do is this, where it says miscreatedserver.exe, just grab that and everything underneath of it, and hit copy. Not everything, but right there to the end of the line. And then you want to minimize that, and you're going to create your own file, except we're going to go into the bin64 dedicated folder right here. This is where the .exe is that actually runs the server, right here. And we're going to create a new file. So go new, text document, and then I'd name it like start server. I already have one, so I'm going to name mine Start Server 2. And then you want to take out the dot text and make it a dot bat. And then hit yes, you want to change it. If yours doesn't look that way and it says dot bat dot txt, you need to come up here to view and click file name extensions. Put a check mark right there, like I have. That's what you want. That'll let you change the extensions in the name portion right there. And then you want to open it and then paste that stuff I had you copy out. This right here is launching the .exe. This, this shortcut has to stay in the folder with that program or it won't work. So this .bat that we made has to stay where the miscreated server.exe is. And then right here is the max players you want on the server. We'll do mine at 25. Uh, this is where you can change the different the map. I'm not sure what all there is to offer, but there's where you change it. Uh, I'd leave the server ID alone, and then right here is where you actually change the server name. I would delete right here, put in whatever you want your server name to be, and then delete 
this. And we want to make sure you hit file and save. And now if you launch this, your .bat that you made, it should launch in a second window like here and show you the CryEngine dedicated server. And then it's going to launch the actual server itself. As you can see, it works. It shows my server max players at 25, which is where I set it. And there's the server name, Mature Mighty Gamers. So it does take a little bit for the server to get spun up and ready. The other thing you need to make sure you do though, and before you launch your server actually, you need to make sure you do this. If you, um, oops, I'm doing the wrong thing. You need to open the ports and the uh, firewall on your router or your Windows server, whatever, whatever you have running here. And the ports that you need to open for, to run this server is 64090 through 64094. You need to open the UDP and the TCP both. Um, every router is different, so I can't really tell you how to do that. But you'll have to do you'll have to forward those ports um, or, and open them in your firewall so the game can get through. Um, I recommend just googling your router name and um, how to open ports, and hopefully you'll find some kind of documentation that'll show you. And if you if you can't find your server. If it's not showing up in the server list and you can't connect to it, it's almost always a port issue. Either your antivirus is blocking it, your firewall is blocking it, or your router's firewall is blocking it. you got to check all those things. And sometimes if you have other games running, it can block it. The other thing I recommend doing is turning Steam off. So just completely exit Steam. Don't have it running while you're running the server because those can interrupt uh, each other and cause problems too. Alright, so there your miscreated server should be up and running now. All right, everybody, if you're trying to connect to your server and you're getting a uh, server disconnect issue or you don't see it, there's one other step you can do, um, and this works if you're on a local area network, is you need to go to your Steam library, go to Miscreated, right-click on it and go Properties, and then go to Set Launch Options here, and then you need to put what? a plus connect and then the local IP of your server. So you'll have to look into your router to see whatever the local IP is. Um, the default's going to be 192.168.1 and then, then whatever else it is. Unless it's, unless it's a different server, then it could be a little bit different than that. But um, Then you just put it in. So if, you're, if it's that, that's what you do, and then you hit OK. And what that does, when you launch Miscreated, it automatically connects you to that server, and that will fix a lot of the connection issues. Um, and then obviously, when you don't want to connect to your personal server, you just delete all that out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video helped you. Please do me a giant favor. Hit that follow and like button and subscribe button and help me grow my community. Have a good evening, everybody.